Hi everyone, this is Nurse Ryan, and today we're going to be talking about the drug clopidogrel, also known by the brand name Plavix. Clopidogrel belongs to the antiplatelet drug classification. And before we get into how it works, let's quickly review platelets and blood clots. Platelets are a type of blood cell that helps the body form blood clots. In the event of injury to a blood vessel, platelets form a kind of net which blocks red blood cells from leaving the injured vessel. The formation of this so-called net is sometimes called platelet aggregation or platelet adhesion. Platelet aggregation then allows for the clotting cascade to form a seal of sorts on the injured vessel to further prevent any leakage of blood. So ultimately, platelets help in the formation of blood clots. Now, the majority of blood clots that occur in the body are actually necessary, like we said, to prevent the leakage of blood in the event of an injury. These clots are examples of good or normal blood clots, which are eventually removed naturally by the body. However, abnormal blood clotting can occur on the inside of blood vessels without being removed naturally by the body. And these abnormal blood clots can result in life-threatening complications such as heart attacks or strokes. This is exactly the kind of clotting that we hope to avoid when administering antiplatelet drugs like clopidogrel. Clopidogrel inhibits platelet aggregation, which helps to prevent that kind of net from forming. For those with recent MI or ischemic stroke, or for those with established peripheral artery disease, clopidogrel can be used to reduce the rate of MI and stroke. In patients with acute coronary syndrome, clopidogrel can be used for those with ST elevation myocardial infarction or STEMI and for non-ST elevation myocardial infarction or NSTEMI to reduce the rate of MI. Like we mentioned, clotting is actually a necessity in the body to prevent us from bleeding out in the event of injury to our blood vessels. However, due to clopidogrel's effect of decreasing platelet aggregation, side effects of clopidogrel may include excessive bleeding or hemorrhage, which in rare cases can be intracranially. Intracranial hemorrhage and other internal bleeding can be life-threatening. Clopidogrel can cause a blood clotting problem called thrombotic thrombocytopenic purpura, or TTP. TTP is a rare disorder that causes blood clots to form in small blood vessels all throughout the body. TTP needs to be treated immediately, as it may be life-threatening. Symptoms of TTP may include purplish spots called purpura on the skin due to bleeding under the skin, rapid heart rate, fever, weakness, and more. There are many other possible side effects of clopidogrel, including headache, GI bleeding and abdominal pain, and much more. Clopidogrel is contraindicated in patients who are actively bleeding and should be used cautiously in those with GI ulcers. Due to the risk of bleeding, clopidogrel should be held for 5-7 to seven days prior to surgery. Safety in pediatric patients has not yet been established. Exercise caution in patients with impaired liver function, as dosing may need to be lowered. Always monitor and assess for side effects of clopidogrel. Due to the risk of bleeding, instruct patients to use soft bristle toothbrushes when brushing their teeth and to use electric razors rather than manual when shaving. Instruct patients that dizziness may occur and to be extra careful when changing from one position to another, especially for elderly clients, orthostatic hypotension may occur. To avoid GI distress when taking clopidogrel, it can be taken with food. Keep in mind that antiplatelet drugs do not remove active blood clots. Thrombolytic drugs, commonly known as clot busters, are required to actually remove a pre-existing clot. Antiplatelet drugs help to prevent clots from forming and to help prevent pre-existing clots from getting bigger. And that's about it for the basics of clopidogrel. If this video has helped you out, please consider leaving a like and subscribe, I would really appreciate it. If you have any questions or would like me to review a specific drug or topic, please let me know in the comments and thanks for watching.